we're here in Hobart. We've got the Hilux, and I thought, well, while we are in Hobart, let's go to one of the famous grounds here because there is a little bit of St Kilda history, and I'll tell you all about it when we get there. Well, we know St Kilda has a rich history of playing home games, but did you know the first ever game that St Kilda played for Premiership points in Tasmania was right here, North Hobart Oval, 1991. Ironically, against Fitzroy and our current coach, Ross Lyon. There were 13,500 people here. Most of them crammed to the end to plug a lock. It was at full forward. He kicked eight goals straight. Robert Harvey got the three Brownlow votes and St Kilda got the win. Some of St Kilda's greatest ever players are right here from the Apple Isle. Ian Stewart, Daryl Balder, Jim Ross, Barry Lawrence, Verdon Howe, and my old mate, Nick Rewell. Oh! Finally made it to Orphan. How are you, bud? I'm glad I finally made it. It yeah. only took him 22 years. So where's, where's your connection? Take, take us back to you being raised in Tasmania. Whereabouts? How long? So I grew up in Hobart and spent all of my weekends in the house over the back here. So that was built by my great-grandfather, Harold Millington, back early sort of 1900s. Right. So the beach just on the other side of the house there where the, where the river mouth comes out is, is Millington's Beach. Yep. My grandmother was Faye Millington, so there is a really strong family history up here, which is, which is pretty cool. So I think my boys now are the, the seventh generation of our family to be here and spend time here. Like a lot of great childhood memories here, and we've we've kept that connection and that, I guess, you know, legacy going. So within two years, three years, you're a best and fairest winner. Two. Like second year. Yeah. All Australian by what your fourth year. Fourth. Captain by your fifth year. Fifth. Where did your drive to win at all costs or succeed, where did that come from? I just felt like every time I went out to play, it was a two hour window to either enhance your reputation or diminish your reputation. And I really, I really felt that. Like even after playing 200 games into your career, I really felt that if I went out and played poorly, we wouldn't win and it would fall on my shoulders. And you'd be judged. And I'd be judged. You felt that and every I'd, game? Every game. I think it was that that drove me. I probably missed out on a bit of the enjoyment, I think, early right. days because I was just crazy about it all. Yeah. But that's how I needed to be to yeah. perform. Like we had a we had a, a group of animals that yeah. wanted to compete. You were as desperate to win as, as anyone. That whole crew was just so driven and so determined to win and that's why we you know, that's why we gave ourselves the best opportunity. So then being as competitive as you were, to know you never quite achieved it. And we had the we had the draw and we had the losses. How does it sit with you now? It sits better than it did five years ago. At the time it was, you know, you wanted it for us. You wanted it for our group because of all the, the work and the effort that had gone in and, and we were agonisingly close. You can put your head on the pillow at night because you know the effort and the work that went in. Well, you should be proud, mate, because there have been very, very few players in St Kilda's history that put in the effort and did what you did for that football club to try and give the fans that premiership that they've been waiting for since 66. And that's why you were lucky enough to be part of Joey's road trip. Oh, mate. Because well, you are in that upper echelon. 11 and 12, Batman and Robin. Yeah. I'll let you work out who Batman was. But, <laughs> um, it was, mate, it was, it was great. And it's great to have you down here. Great to have me. Cheers, mate. Thank you, buddy. Mate, what I'm more interested in is you don't drive a truck and now you've got your name on one. Mate, What's I'm this just about? giving the people what they want. And you're <laughs> oh, on the list. You your privilege to be on the list. Have a look at it. Yeah, how good. Joey's road trip. All right. Hey, can you show me around town though? Let's, yes. I want to see Orford. Let's go. All right. So we're in the secret spot, so we're not allowed to tell anyone how we okay, got here. But right. Stay um, between us. Yeah, and it's nice just to have somewhere like this, like there's no phone reception when you come down here, so barbecues and bring the bring the kids down and I even saw a sheep. <laughs> yeah, you did see a sheep. <laughs> we bring the kids here most days, you can see why. And yeah. I mean it's a pretty significant spot for us. It's a spot where you know we brought Maddie after after everything happened and, and we are lucky as a family to have a I guess a grounding place where you can come back and heal and reflect and well, I mean, you were right in the thick of it, mate. Supporting it just like the rest of the footy club, and knew Maddie pretty well, mate. She would have, she would have been pumped to know that she ended up having a game of footy named after it. Saints family rallied around, yeah, pretty, pretty well. So, yeah, it's it, it is, it is a pretty powerful place for our family yeah. to be able to come back to. I suppose it's nice as a part of it. It's always going to be here every summer when you come to the, you know, all your family here. Yeah, come to the beach. Right. 
and it'll stay in the family and a long line of tradition still to come. Yeah, well, until the kids get sick of it and they sell it. <laughs> Well, it reminds me of what it was back in 65, yeah. you know, yeah. everything's new and big, big and better, mind you, the gym's a little bit bigger yeah. than that. <laughs> so you mentioned Nick Del Santo as coach. Two things that stick out for me as a player. One, he never shut up. So I want to know what he's like as a coach, because he always talks. I'll never forget how hard the game is. Um, <laughs> if I do, please remind me. <laughs> <laughs> so some cliches, he's rolling out cliche, real yeah. coach cliches. It's funny, you think about that, you talk about going into the lecture theatre now for a team meeting. In those days, it was pull up a chair. We had to go grab our own chairs, remember, and sit them. <laughs> and then I made you put them away. <laughs> yeah, pack up the chairs. 